Concrete 5.5, we've done a complete interface redesign, primarily focused on our dashboard. So I want to take just a minute or two and do a little before and after uh, to give you a sense as to what's changed and also to give you some kind of quick tips as to how to navigate uh, in version 5.5. Uh, so this is an older version of Concrete, uh, and you can see it's uh, got the editing toolbar, and I can put a page in edit mode, roll over any content or functionality, and just make page changes in the page. And that uh, graceful, seamless, in-context editing has uh, won us a lot of fans and has always worked very nicely. Um, what is less than awesome is the dashboard. Uh, this is where we kind of take care of all the centralized stuff we had to do in the past. And as you can see, it's, you know, there's nothing all that revolutionary about it. We've got some boxes in here, a completely meaningless graph, a uh, teeny tiny news feed that uh, is really hard to kind of grep, um, and your average inverted L navigation. So if I want to get to reports, I have to click on reports, I have to click into surveys, I'm going to have to click the actual one that I want. Okay, it works, but, um, you know, it's certainly nothing new. Uh, some of the challenges that we had with this is that people never really went to the dashboard unless there was something broken with their site. Uh, in that type of situation, they'd be coming into a site-wide settings page like this and just trying to figure out where they should be on a long page like this. Very intimidating. Uh, wasn't really the friendly, graceful, uh, site editor-focused experience that we wanted to deliver. So with 5.5, we have completely rethought all of that. Uh, so right from the bottom up, you can see I can put the page in edit mode. I can also jump directly to any of those settings pages I used to have to put the page in edit mode uh, first for. Um, when I do make some changes, uh, you see all the menus have been updated, all the windows have a nice new treatment. Um, I can get to this just by rolling over it, make version comments right there and publish. Uh, just a lot faster, a lot more graceful. Uh, you'll also see there's some new stuff up here. Uh, so dashboard is now a drop-down page that directly links into the areas of the dashboard you're going to have to go to most frequently. Uh, you can also just hit tab and start searching by typing. So as I type, it does a little autocomplete search, and whatever is blue, if I hit return, that's where I go to. Um, you can see when I do go into a dashboard page, there's now this big photo in the background. That's how you know you're on a dashboard page and not just on a, a page in your site. That photo updates every day. And if you're a white labeling partner, you can, you can turn that off and you can even swap a logo out. Another thing to be aware of is there is now a news interface built in. So um, you can always get to news by going up to the dashboard and clicking news. Um, news will also show up once in a 24 hour period for you. Uh, what's in here is always changing. Um, and you can page through different editions. So um, we're going to have all sorts of cool content that will really help you learn how to get the most out of Concrete 5 and see what other people are doing with it, uh, and we're very excited about that. Uh, the other thing you may have noticed as I roll up to this editing toolbar, I get this little blue drop-down guy. We call this the Quick Nav, and as I navigate around the site, it keeps a breadcrumb of where I've been here, and I can always just jump back. So if you find yourself having to go back and forth between two pages because you're working on something, that happens a lot, this quick nav is super handy. Uh, the other thing to uh, remember is on any of the dashboard pages, you can click this star, and that'll actually add the page onto the left of your quick nav as a bookmark. Uh, click the star again, and it'll remove it. Uh, the other way to get around is once you're in a dashboard page, you'll see there's this little caret symbol. Um, that shows you pages that are in the same neighborhood uh, as, as where you're at. So we're on surveys, there's form results, statistics, and logs. Um, if I were to go to File Manager, you, know, you would see the other stuff, sets, attributes, etc. So there's just a quick overview of some of the dramatic ways that the dashboard has changed in Concrete 5.5. <laughs>